<laughs> it's like it, it's, it's pretty obvious. He does destroy. Hey, that's just Ned again. Like this is a character that he's been playing since like since the game came out. I'm pretty sure Ned like uh, was one of the first people, um, at least around here, to really, really d deep dive into Pokemon Trainer. So mm -hmm. there he was. If I remember correctly, he also has like a godlike video for it. It's either that or and Sephiroth, I believe. You know, I know like, the Sephiroth one for sure because I've actually seen it. Uh, Pokemon Trainer, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Such a good player with this character. Definitely an innovator of the character in the early meta. Um, no reason not to try and bring it back for, uh, especially, you know, at something like Ignition where you could just, it's the perfect training ground to try out new stuff or bring up old concepts again. It feels like a long time since I've seen these long Squirtle combos. <laughs> <laughs> Diet Mario, you used to call him. Oh, it was, oh, it was like that in the past too? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's like right now they're respecting each other's space right now. You yep. got Solar Rose with the Phantom, and then uh, you got Ned waiting. Uh, <laughs> waiting to see what, what uh, Solar Rose is going to do next. Yep. Yeah, Solar Rose is definitely going to want to try and just put up that really strong defense against uh, Pokemon Trainer. Oh. But, I mean, man, all these quick hitboxes and Ned's just really strong game sense. Just... Just able to kind of brute force his way in sometimes. Ooh, good landing there. He <laughs> saved his air dodge so just to get onto the platform there. Yeah, perfect play. Ooh. Ooh, oh, landing with the lightning kick. <laughs> it's always when you least expect it. I think it's one of the things Solar Rose is really good at. He just pulls out these KO moves out of nowhere and is just able to take your stock so early because those sweet spots, they really hurt. They sting. They, they really do, but they're so early, too, <laughs> for that. Yeah, totally. You, yeah, you can't. You cannot miss a single frame on that one. <laughs> Ned right now just patiently holding that advantage, trying to go for all these like little chip options with Squirtle using those, using that small frame and those super quick hitboxes to his advantage. Especially that Nair right there, that sour hitbox, still able to come in with the clutch or with the uh, coverage rather. Ooh, Ooh he tried to go go for the down air yeah. on the ledge. A staple of every Ivy source. Yeah, really. The classic, really. Ooh, just missed it. Managed to DI far enough away to make sure that doesn't connect. Yeah, that's the trick. Those those uh, sweet spots. I mean, the hitboxes on them are still really, really tiny. So definitely got to be careful with them. All right. Go. Right now they're just trading back and forth. They're switching sides every <laughs> every yep. single time. Yeah, Solar is starting to get a little bit more comfy with her pulling up, with her uh, putting up all these walls right here. Oh, the Charizard, always a menace, very scary, very fast, very hard hitting. Oh yeah, totally. Yep, just like that. F chill right on the sweet spot of the tail. Yeah, the range on that tail is just so such a such a major threat, especially when you're at kill percent or just at the ledge in general. It's very hard to contest sometimes. Oh yeah, the fact that he could angle it is also very <laughs> well, is a very uh, deceiving sometimes. Oh yeah, totally. Great point. Oh, we just kept her. following with the Nair. Just, just barely. That almost hit. Yeah. Ivy starts. Ivy Sword starting to get some uh, more stylish action right now. All these like uh, upbeat cancels. Oh, he did a fancy up tilt there. Yeah. <laughs> wonder, wonder if he'll bust out the neutral beat. That'd be crazy. Because the bullet seat. I'm like, what? <laughs> the best move in the game. What are you talking about? <laughs> Ooh, jumped up and got caught by the fair. Yeah. Punishing game that one. up. Punishing that jump get up as well as the neutral get up right there. Right. Very nice by Ned, but also very nice by Solar Rose, being able to, uh, what was it, hold, hold her own right now in game one. Oh, see yeah. See what, uh, what she picks up for game two right now. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. You know, all those, like, uh, again, just putting up that, those strong defensive options to try and keep Pokemon Trainer away. Like, even though all of these characters are super, super threatening, it can be kind of tricky for some of them to get actually in the face of their opponents. Like, mm -hmm. You know, you wouldn't really expect it because a lot of them are, because, you know, Squirtle is especially so quick, but, you know, still, he's very, very stubby as long as Solar Rose places her knights, places her, um, you know, those really strong hitting aerials really well. You, know, you can totally wall these characters out. It's definitely possible, so we'll yep. just have to see how she keeps getting more comfortable, more jumps into this matchup going into game two. Oh, it's easier said than done, especially on a small character like Squirtle. Yeah, that's the trick to it all. <laughs> <laughs> it is very, very much easier said than done. Good She's getting good. She's getting good grab after grab after grab. Yeah, just putting that in the down air or the down throw blender right now. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Oh, was it got punished with the downer and, uh, oh, here we go again. Yeah. Oh, that up tilt just lasts for so long. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that neutral be another really, really good um, defensive boxing tool right there. Especially against characters with, with low range, you know, you can just sort of throw it out there and uh, beat out their hitboxes. That he can. Right. Head now on the ledge. Able to, to get back out yep. with the help of the Razor Leaf and the back air. Yeah, that's Charizard for you. Find out where your opponent's going and just throw the back air out there. And just and just breathe fire on them for good measure. <laughs> yeah, might as well, right? You can only reflect like what a couple of them, and then you just get hit by the rest of it. It's yeah, yeah, very true. So many good moves trading, on trading out. on each other's shields. Yep. Some like eventually one of them will hit. Yeah, right. One <laughs> of them's got to hit eventually. Right, good patience from Ned there, knowing he's not gonna be able to Ooh, sneak in that back air. The lightning kick trying to get from behind. Very nice, sweet spot of the up Ooh, very nice. I cannot believe that was in range. <laughs> Perfect spacing right there from Solar Rose. Very nice, got all of that one. Oh, rolled in. Saw Ned charging up that, that, that down smash yes. <laughs> as soon as he saw that position. Yeah. Oh, here come the Squirtle Strings. Yep, long string and has the ledge now. Definitely a difficult spot to be in against Squirtle, let alone Ned Squirtle of all people. Wow, sneaks in that jab right there. What an interesting bait. I don't feel like I've ever seen that. Down tilt into a jab. Yeah. It's very difficult to try to do anything out of that. But does his job as, keep, as keeping Solar Rose off the stage. Oh, yeah, definitely. This has just been ledge lockdown for the past, like, 20 seconds. Looking for that last hit, pretty much. Staying on Squirtle, I kind of respect it. You know, looking for those F-tilts and like a quick confirm or something like that. Oh, but this could hurt. And oh, it, is. it definitely hurts, especially on Squirtle, dying at 97. Yeah, excellent play by Solar Wizard. Not going for the forward air or back air, just going, you know what? The upper is going to be good enough. Just find it and get that stock. All right. Oh, we've got Solar Rose in a bad spot now against the, against the healthy Charizard and the uppie with the armor. Yep. That armor is definitely something to be scared of. That's Charizard for you. He just finds a way to just pull out a move out of nowhere and surprise yep. you. Yep. Actually, if I, if I, what was it, looking at these two, I think that was the first time he pulled up the, the up in the middle of that attack or yeah. in the middle of the shield. Yeah, like right in the middle of like a, right in the middle of the stage is like an out of shield option. Yeah, I think yep. so. So, yeah. Honestly, a really good set though. Again, Solar Rose just showing. She's got those, she's got that def defensive capability with Zelda. Mm -hmm. Got a good understanding of, you know, Zelda's like hitboxes. What's the, you know, that decision making, like even with, um, after like a down throw, when it's going for more throws, right? Going for that up air. All of us right there. That was definitely an impressive showing. So, yeah. That it was. But now now she's got to make the epic losers run to try to make her, to make her way back up. Yeah, but if she, I think if she's shown anything during that match,